Okay, today I'm going to show you how to bend flatware with our spoon bender. This jig was built out of necessity. I was using stainless flatware to bend, to make spoon bracelets, and was finding the bending was next to impossible. So this was invented by my father, and um, this is an amazing tool. This is really, truly an amazing tool. I have not found anything on the market even close to capable of bending stainless steel spoons in a nice fluid motion. It comes with five different size rollers. With those five rollers, you can achieve these five bends. For the majority of my spoons, I use the largest roller. It accommodates the average size wrist well. So, I've got a couple pieces of stainless steel flatware here. Stainless is very difficult to bend. I was kneeling and pounding in, into shape and I found that extremely frustrating. So this is a wonderful tool that my father invented and I want to show you how it works. What you have to do is you take your piece of flatware and you're going to have to pound it down flat. Okay, your flat piece. You're going to insert it into the bender. You choose how far down you want it in, how much of the spoon that you want bent. You'll learn by trial and error how much you need to have coming out of the top to get the correct bend. That looks accurate to me. You're going to tighten it down. This is going to hold the fork tight in place. while you are working on the vise, working with it in the vise. I'm going to tighten this down. I'm going to insert this into your vise. This fork is a little long so I can't put it right directly in the center of my vise. So it's off center a little bit. You're going to tighten that down. Now you're going to tighten these rollers down. You want them snug up against your piece, but not so snug that you cannot move this. You need a little bit of give in here. Then you're going to bend. It's just that simple. This is really an incredible tool. If you want to make stainless steel bracelets, this is a necessity. If you're using silver plate or sterling, again, a perfect tool. I find it's outstanding for stainless just because stainless is so difficult to bend. And there gives you an absolute perfect bend in stainless. Um, again, you get five different size rollers. It's going to allow you to bend five different bends. You can use smaller rollers for a smaller wrist. Say you want to do uh, something for a baby. Say you want to do a baby's bracelet. This small one here might be what exactly what you're looking for. It's something you can experiment with. Um, we're selling this on my spoon bracelet Etsy store and it comes with full instructions all the materials that you're going to need for the different size rollers and I, I, I imagine you'll be extremely pleased I know I have been um, is really filled a need even though I'm not making a lot of stainless bracelets um, I'm doing mostly a silver plate 
for example, it's one here I finished recently. It gives just the perfect bend. Nice fluid motion, no kinks. Just a perfect bend for the wrist to fit the average size wrist. If you got, if you're building something for a larger wrist, you might want to just take and pull that a little bit out after you've made it, put it in your vise and pull it out a little bit. Um, using the different size rollers you're going to get different kinds of bends here. But this is the piece of stainless that I just spent right around that roller there. So, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And our company is Wearable Spoons. You can find us on Etsy. Thank you.